welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, with some very uh, frizzy hair this morning. <laughs> okay, so this is how the show works. Um, in a moment, I'll be taking callers live. You can call in to the show. It's 845-277-9131. Now, that is the number if you want to ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side. If you want a private session, that is not where you go. For a private session, you go to my website, tonig.info, I-N-F-O, or you call um, my business number, which is 414-897-2869. So those are the, the ways to connect for the show or to um, connect for a private session. I will never reach out to anybody for a private session on any social media or any place else. So if you do want a private session, you have to reach to me. I don't reach out to people. Okay, having said all of that, good morning, Stevie. I hope you're having a great day. I hope everything is going well for you. I want to say hi to everybody on YouTube. Hey, Heather, Amy, and Fawn. Wonderful to see you here today. Um, you guys, uh, this show does air on WSCS, Rupu TV, Rude Rangers TV, and a number of other streaming channels. Um, if you want to join the show live, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. I am thinking of adding a third time, a third um, time in, um, either a weekend or like Friday night or something like that. Comment and let me know when you think a good time uh, to go live when you guys could all join me would be I'll be happy to do that for you. Hey, Frankie, how are you? If you are on YouTube live and you would like uh, to recommend a clearing, please go ahead and do that. We'll get started with those clearings. If you have a question, again, the call in number is 845-277-9131. But the private session number um, is uh, 414-897-2869. Okay, now I'm going to be calling area codes. I don't, there are no names associated with the area codes. It's just uh, numbers on my switchboard. When I call your area code, please tell me where are you calling from? and your first name, your name, and where you're calling from, and then have a specific question and or connection available. So a very specific question is something going on right now in your life or something you really want to know about, not a vague question like my next uh, six months or um, whatever it may be. Uh, tell me about you know, whatever, any message, whatever, just something a little bit more specific, just so that I can get through everybody um, that's calling, or at least try to get through for everybody on the call log. A specific connection is um, my mom, Judy, my uncle, Bill, uh, my friend, Jerry, uh, that's a specific question. And then if you have a comment, a question, or a conversation you would have wanted to have with that person, let me know. Okay, those I think are all the instructions except for please take me off of speakerphone. And if you are listening to me while we are on the phone, please turn it down so that there's no reverb or re whatever they call that in the background. Okay, I'm going to go to... Um, the first caller who is 203, 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? It's Pat in Connecticut. Thank you. I really need your opinion before Friday. Okay. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing Thank you. Uh, oh, um, you're welcome, Pat. How can, how can I help you? Thank you. Um, it's a quick question. I've been going to physical therapy on and off to this company for years, and everyone's great.
great and professional. And usually my boss sees me. He had a new person there, trainer, just started. He put him with me for the past um, two months. Basically, he's assigned him to me. He's done two things that made me feel uncomfortable. One might be my imagination on the sense of a physical, just going too close. The other one was a comment he made, um, a flattering comment, which was not appropriate. And I told him, you know, he, there were two things that happened that left me uncomfortable, and I'd like to see, you know, go back to my boss or someone else. And I thanked him for his work. And he said, oh, did I do something wrong? And I don't feel it's my job to explain him, so I repeated it again. My feeling is he did not let the boss know. He probably glazed over it. My boss came in and worked with me. I'm wondering, do I need to inform the boss of um, the comments he made, or am I wrong in him getting too close physically to a certain area that made me feel uncomfortable? Okay, so here's what I'm getting for what it's worth. You're never wrong. Um, what's comfortable for you is comfortable for you. It doesn't matter if that would be comfortable to him as a man, and it doesn't matter if it would be comfortable for someone else, okay? What is comfortable for you mm -hmm. is comfortable for you. In the past, you know, just real real quick, I'm going to go off uh, on to another subject. One time, I, uh, it's the same thing, but one time I was getting a massage, and it was a male massage therapist, which... Personally, I wouldn't do, but it was referred and gifted to me. And this guy doing um, massaging my legs would go up um, one hand on the outside of my thigh and one hand on the inside of my thigh, but fingers forward. And every time he would stroke up, That's he'd go just a little bit closer to the promised yeah. land. Let's just call it the promise land. There were no promises being made or had that day. I'm just telling you. And I basically, right. the next time he took his hands down, just squeezed my legs together and said, yeah, enough there, move on. Um, because I knew he was inching up towards something. Intuitively, we just know. But what's comfortable for us is comfortable for us, regardless of what anybody else thinks or says. The comments were probably inappropriate. You're professional. You've been in the business. You work in the, they were probably inappropriate. But even if they weren't inappropriate for someone else, the fact that they were inappropriate for you is enough. If you felt this way, chances are other people will. So yes, inform your boss in a way that you just said it to me. Listen, these things were very uncomfortable for me. It is possible they will be uncomfortable for someone else. Perhaps you could work with him okay. on how to get around that. Um, that might be the best okay. resolve. He knows, he knows he pushes it. He acts like it's not a big deal, okay. but he knows he pushes the limit. He knows he goes past what's let's just say acceptable. Um, well, that makes me angry then. Don't, well, you can't, you know what, what, don't let other people's actions and behaviors control your emotions. Okay. Don't ever okay. let what anybody else does control your emotions. If somebody does something, that's about who they are. And maybe the reason that your boss put you with him is so that you would give honest feedback or intuitively or universally, this just happened. So you could be the person that goes back to your boss and says, hey, listen, this is the situation okay. with this. I think that that's fair. Um, and if your boss feels like he's gonna, what, what your boss is going to do, he's, he's going to keep it in the back of his mind. So then when the next person comes and says, possibly says okay. something to him, 
there's two. Okay. Um, okay. So don't think of it as anything other than different people have different boundaries and different ideals of what is comfortable, right, and wrong. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. I'm yeah. so happy that, that you is. called in. I, I feel like this will help a lot of other people that are watching and or listening. And listen, um, I know in a situation where there is a practitioner and a uh, client and or patient, we tend to give them the power, whether it be a doctor, a physical therapist, um, whomever it is, we tend to Always give them the benefit of the doubt. If something is making you uncomfortable, it doesn't matter if it makes anybody else uncomfortable. Yeah. It doesn't matter. These are your yeah. boundaries and you have them for a reason. And there are ways to say, excuse me, can you can you back up a little bit? But if you're not comfortable doing that, then yes, by all means, get a different practitioner. Don't assume it's okay. Don't assume. And if they're doing it with you, they're 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 going to do it with other people. That's just how they operate. Okay, love. Okay. Yeah. I I dealt with him, and then I just had this strong feeling that I sh I should have that I need to speak to the boss. I didn't want. To. Okay, you're you're great. What you said is perfect. And so thank you so much. You know what? And I I I'm also gonna say I've had a lot of massages in my life. And again, women massage therapists, no woman has ever come as close to the promised land with their fingertips yeah. as this guy. And most of the time, on the stroke up, a woman or a practitioner massage therapist will round their hand off rather than to try to keep going right. straight. So we know, and, I mean, we're not stupid. We're Tony, nice. Tony, yeah. Tony, this is physical therapy for my knee. Okay. And, and granted, I do have some soreness in my thigh, but not inside near my crotch, you know? <laughs> Your promise land. Not even <laughs> yes. No, yes, you're right. And 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 if it go okay, so in that case, here's what I'm going to say. If he felt like he was feeling that muscle and it needed to go up that high, he should have said, Listen, I'm feeling it's very tight. I'm going to um go up further. Is that okay with you? C consent goes both ways. Consent just goes both yes, ways. Thank you. Okay. And so maybe thank he so needs much. to learn not to just act, but to let people know what he's doing and, and why he's doing it. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. God bless. I love you, Tony. I really appreciate you oh my answering goodness. this today. I love you too. I love you so much. And you have an <laughs> absolutely oh, amazing me. rest of the day. Okay, sweet girl. You, you, you too. And yay for a third, third session weekly. That's great. We'll all love it. Yep, absolutely. I'm, I'm, exci I'm excited <laughs> to get the third day started because there's a lot of people that you, they watch the replay of my show, but they can never join in live because they're always working. So I'm like, I have to do something for yeah. them. And I want to be able to um, do it at a time that's really good for people and now that we're going into the fall I think I know Amy said Sunday show but the, everybody watches Sunday football so many people watch Sunday football I don't want to compete with football yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah. feel like either Friday well, night or yeah. I don't know but, we'll see but yeah, I get it I get it yeah those people need to talk to you too all right love you we all love you love you Thanks, too sweetie Tony. Have an absolutely amazing okay. rest of the day, and um, we will chat again soon. Thank you so much for calling. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. I'm going to go directly to the, excuse me, the next caller, 814. 814, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
Hi, this is Amy, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Amy, how can I help you today? I'm calling to see if you feel um, that a friendship of mine, her name is Fran, is over between her and I. We went away on a trip over the weekend, and her personality is a very domineering personality. Sometimes it's very hard to take. Yeah, okay. So, um, Amy, I here's what I'm going to say, and please know I'm channeling. This is not my personal opinion. I don't know either of you. I'm not saying anything bad about either of you. Um, I feel like it's not over, but I feel like maybe it should be. Um, this is a very, very sensitive, <clears throat> a very sensitive um, type of subject because it's very difficult when we have friends and if we've had them for longer than a minute, um, we always feel obligated, guilty, or we think about the good times. And sometimes when our energy doesn't match someone, we just have to start disconnecting from that person. Um, in a case where somebody is more domineering or um, has to control things, that can be nerve wracking. That can just be so overwhelming and nerve wracking. Um, I feel like you probably will communicate with her again or this person again. I feel like there will be communication. I do feel like it would be healthiest and best for you to minimize connection and contact just until you're in a place where you can effectively communicate um, and be in a fair, or what they're calling a fair relationship with this person where one person isn't always getting what they want or domineering the situation. I feel like you will be happy once you're in that situation. Um, it's going to require you to be a little bit more, um, I want to say outspoken, but you have to be able to be outspoken in the right way. Um, but I, I'm going to say no matter what you say to this person, I just feel like this person always knows what they want and they're going to just push for what they want. So again, um, minimal time and energy mixing right now. I hope that makes sense to you. Now, okay, but you said the friendship isn't over. Now, let me let me put it this way. If you want it to be over, it can be over. You can walk away clean, clear, and free, okay? You can do that. If you're the one who wants it to be over, just let it be over. Move on with your life. Um, and, and be with people that are more in alignment with your energy. She probably will reach out. She will try to connect again. It's going to be up to you to be strong enough to say no, um, or to just ignore that. Okay. Just ignore the phone call, ignore the text, then just move on with your life with no guilt. We don't owe anyone anything for any reason. Sometimes. People just have to go their own separate way for a while or forever. And that's just it. When one person behaves in one way and another person behaves in another way, um, sometimes it's just too chaotic for our personal energy. And we just have to move on. And that doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make them a bad person. Just two different energy mixes. Time to move it along. Um if you're the one who wants it to be over, you're in control of that. No matter what she says and does, you just have the right to move on and you don't have to feel guilty or badly about that, okay? If she does reach out, you just have to be strong. Now, if she's the one who wants it to be over and you're trying to reach back out, just give it time. Um, I don't, again, I feel like if you gave this a really good break, um, 
or started to separate, it might be really healthy for you. It might be what's best for you. Does that make sense, love? Okay. It does. It does. Yes. Good. And it, I always say, if if the idea of being in somebody's presence brings you any sort of or anxiety or stress or whatever, maybe it's time to, at the very least, minimize contact, um, move on, or let go. There is this this statement, and it's it's really true. And it says, if you hang around six um, millionaires, you'll be the seventh millionaire. If you hang around um, six thieves, you'll be the seventh thief. If you hang around six drug abusers, you'll be the seventh drug abuser. But that goes for energy and character also. Also, and I've watched this happen with people I um, have have known um if you hang around with people who lot who are like don't have a good character eventually your your character will start to um fray also or your energetic mix will start to fray also if you're hanging around people who are really dominant you're either going to have to start to be dominant back at them to have things be fair and copacetic or they're just going to dominate you and try to take over your life. And people like that, they're out of control in their own life. So they'll never see what's, what, what the real dynamic is, even if you explain it to them. So the best thing you can do, if, if you're happy with where you are and who you are, just move on in another direction and let, uh, let lions lay, is the statement I'm hearing. Just let the lions lay and move on and be in a situation where you're not being stressed out or being um, uh, controlled or domineered. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so very welcome. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. And thank you so much for calling into the show. Thank you so much, Tony. You are welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. If you'd like, to, if you're if you're watching or listening to the show right now on one of the very many podcasts that are out there, and you'd like to call in and ask a question, or you would like to um, uh, connect with a loved one on the other side. Oh my goodness! How could I forget what I do? Holy guacamole! Um, the call in number is eight four. Five, nope, yep, yep, <laughs> eight four five two seven seven nine one three one. If you want a private session, that is four one four eight nine seven two eight six nine. Okay, let's go to the next caller six three zero six three zero. How are you today? Hi, my name is Jenna. I'm from Illinois. Hey, Jenna. How can I help you? Um, I know you said be specific. Um, I don't have like a very specific specific question. Um, okay. other than I am curious as to changes coming up in either my my family's like health or financial situation. Okay. Um. Ooh. Okay, Jenna, uh, uh, Jenna, right? I want to make sure I'm calling you the right name. Je Jenna, um, yeah. as soon as I uh, tap into your energy, the first thing, I, you know, it feels a little heavy, like there's a lot, and I hear <clears throat> there's a lot going on with this. There's a lot going on here. Um, now, a lot can can mean different things it can be a lot in good ways it can be a lot in complicated ways it can just mean there's a bit of a struggle going on right now so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to do a clearing um 
And let's do a clearing for finances and then a clearing for health. So anybody watching, re-watching, it's at about the 25 minute mark of the show. Um, I want to say, uh, let's do finances first. There is um, money coming in. I'm, I'm like, I, I. I'm like a no. I'm not like a no. I'm getting a no. Let's clear that. Oh my goodness. My words have forsaken me. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to say there's more money coming in than going out. And I get a yes, no on that. So let's clear that to a solid um, yes, that we have a lot more money coming in than we have going out. And then I want to hit on the health aspect. We are in good health. I get a no. Let's clear that. Um, our health is increasing and getting stronger. We are getting healthier with each and every day. I get a no. Let's clear that to a yes for sure. Um, the biggest thing I'm going to say for you, there are changes coming in, but things are going to be com complicated for another month to three months. I think things are going to be up and down for at least for a minimum of a month and they may be up and down for up to three months. I feel like um, there are going there's going to be a lot of um, on and off going on with your situation. Now I don't know if that makes sense for you. I hope it does make sense for you. But what I'm really hearing is mm -hmm. there's a lot of on and off that's going to be going on for definitely for six weeks, um, but then for three months. And over the next month, it's going to feel very complicated. And um, the, the statement I, what I'm seeing in the statement I'm getting, and if I'm off, I apologize. I see somebody sitting at a table looking at, at like what what would be like bills and going like these like like oh, where is it going to come from where what am i going to do where is it going to come from but then going okay when you take that breath and you really think about it you go okay I just have to come up with a plan and I'm going to do this here, this here and that there and that'll work. And then I'll worry about the next round when the next round comes. I do feel like that at about the three month mark, um, there are going to be significant changes. Oh, thank you so much for taking the time to join me here today. Time is the one thing we can't get a refund on. We can never get it back. Once it's gone, it's spent, it's spent. That's why they say spending time. So thank you for spending your time with me. I am truly grateful for that. And I do hope, I really hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing weekend. I